Hi, welcome to automation testing in this video we are going to discuss about selenium web driver methods okay selenium web driver methods will discuss about the api provided by the selenium web driver we have so many web driver methods to automate the web application selenium provided a huge number of methods to interact with the browser to automate the application each method will have its own purpose to use means uh, you have an application and you want to automate that application using selenium web driver how you will automate that, uh, that application means you have so many uh, ways to interact with the application right if you have a text box means you will enter something into that if you have a button means you have to click on that means you do so many operations on the web page then how selenium web driver do uh, all those operations on the web page means selenium provided a huge api to do all those things uh, in this video we will discuss few of them important uh, methods as we cannot uh, uh, discuss all the methods we cannot see all those methods we have huge api we have to explore all those methods while we uh, start out everything we'll get uh, once you get some experience we'll come to know how to explore all those things how to use but as a basic knowledge uh, we will uh, get some knowledge that how uh, web driver will interact with the application how it performs some operations on the web page okay uh, below are the few important methods which we'll use very frequently on the web page uh, in the selenium web driver uh, this is the method and this is the description of that method you will say uh, one of the methods called close what is a uh, close method it will close the current browser where the driver focus is means uh, you you have to uh, open a browser and you have to uh, automate that uh, application on the browser right means you open a browser if you want to close that browser how you do that one you use close method of selenium okay and then find element what is a find element it will identify a single web element on the web page means uh, uh, on a web page you have so many web elements that means what you see on the web, uh, web page everything is a web element how how you identify the element using find element method what is find elements if you want to identify uh, multiple elements which is having the same kind of locator then you use the find elements okay uh, we will see all those things in detail in the coming videos but here uh, some basic knowledge means you will come to know that uh, when you see the code okay this method is i have seen this method okay i have seen kind of information okay and get uh, what is the get method the get method will be used to navigate to the particular web page uh, you you open a web uh, browser and you want to navigate to the particular url some google.com automation testing that in something selenmhq.org how you navigate to that using get method and get current url means you have uh, you you navigate to particular url then you want to get that url to assert something okay now how you get that url then use the get uh, current url method to uh, uh, now grab that you know get the uh, url of that web page currently the driver focus where it is okay get the page source means get page source for each uh, web page will have the page source means the entire html code written for to uh, display the web page i want to get the entire html of that page how you will get that using get page source uh, method and get title for each and every uh, web page will have the title i want to read the title how you get the title use the get title method okay what is get window handle uh, it will be used to get the current window information means uh, suppose you navigate to one page there you find some link if you click on that link it opens separate uh, web page means now there are two windows opened and now if you want to handle this kind of scenarios you will use get window handle get window handles means get window handle means the current window information it will hold okay and how you switch between these windows to you know, interact uh, with the uh, windows okay and get window handles it will hold all the windows information means in the current window uh, get window handle it will hold only single window information if you get the if you want to get um, all the windows which are opened by the driver you can use get window handles what is navigate once you uh, navigate to the web page and if you click on something it will navigate to some other uh, page now if you want to go back to the previous url how you how you go using navigate methods okay what is quit 
it will be used to close all the web pages which are opened by the web driver uh, as we discussed you you are in the web page if you click on something it opens some other web page now i want to open all the uh, windows which are open now so you use quit if you use close it will close only uh, current uh, window which uh, where the driver focus is but if you use quit all the windows are uh, closed by using this method switch to uh, means you have uh, something like uh, iframes alerts and as we discussed in the windows if you want to interact with those things we have to switch to that particular element or window or alert so uh, in that scenario so you have to use switch to method to switch to that elements clear clear method is used to clear the text box you have something on the text box you want to clear the text box then you use clear method okay and send keys if you want to something uh, if you want to enter something into the text box you have to use send keys method you uh, click is a method to click on buttons or links get attribute uh, this method will be used to uh, get the attributes of a particular tag or an element submit this method will be used to submit the uh, form on a web page okay select by visible text select by index select by value these three methods will be used to select a value from the drop down okay if you have a drop down and if you want to uh, select something from the web down uh, drop downs then you have different kind of like uh, visible text uh, select the value from the drop down using the text of the options on the drop down means you will have some op uh, text to the element right by using the text select by index sometimes you will use index of that uh, element and you can find the element otherwise you select the element select by value this method will be used to select a value from the drop down using the value attribute okay these are the few very basic you um, know frequently used methods in the selenium web driver so i want to just give a brief discussion about you know what kind of uh methods will be there in the web page you know how what is the purpose of that uh, apart from that we have so many uh, methods available in the web driver to achieve your functionality how you achieve the uh, same thing in the manual manually manually how you will achieve the same thing you will achieve using automation also for that you have so many methods you no know, api okay uh, i want to discuss you know how methods will be you know what kind of methods will be that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like it like us at our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel